the Luo who today occupy the East African region, including countries like South Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Kenya, and Tanzania are a group of the Nilotic ethnic group that has great history and culture. have had a great influence on the East African region in terms of culture and this was very evident through their migration as some of the communities that they encountered became assimilated to the Luo culture. In this video we shall be looking at the origin and migration plus the social life and culture of the Luo Nilotic ethnic group. If you're new here, welcome. On the channel, we share great stories about the African continent. So for more future videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and also share this video with someone that would love to learn about the African continent. are a part of the Nilotic group who are believed to have originated from the Bar El Ghazal region of South Sudan. It is said and believed that the Luo started their migration to other parts of East Africa roughly around 800 years ago and this was as a result of misunderstandings amongst the leaders of their communities. Because of this, the Anuak, who are also sometimes referred to as Anua, moved to Ethiopia and today they are settled around the Gambela area. The other group moved south towards Uganda and some stayed in South Sudan around what is known today as the Magui County in the eastern equatorial state of South Sudan. For those that moved south to Uganda, today we have the Acholi who occupy the northern region of Uganda, the Langi that occupy the northeastern part of Uganda, the Japadola that are found in the eastern region of Uganda, and the Alur that occupy the West Nile region of Uganda. During this migration, some of the Luo communities crossed over to Kenya through the Nyanza province and these are today known as the Jaluo. To bring this into context, those in Kenya also known as the Jaluo occupy the western part of Kenya while those that proceeded to Tanzania today are found in the northern part of the country around the Mara region. traditionally known to be tall and dark-skinned, although due to intermarriages with other tribes and ethnic groups, this is changing in the modern day. Originally because of these physical attributes, the Luo were known to be cattle pastoralists and also crop cultivators. Oral tradition history also tells us that they engaged in other activities such as fishing, and hunting in order to forge a living. Today, when you look around the East African region, many of the Luo are very high-skilled intellectuals that take up different professions in the respective East African countries. The Luo live in a very communal society and this is referred to as a homestead. This homestead can have an entire extended family that comprises of parents, uncles, aunties, the cousins, and so many other relatives. In the Luo culture, it is expected that when a boy reaches his teenage, he has to leave his father's house and construct a house 
of his own. And usually this is a heart within the homestead in preparation of starting a family of his own. Talking more about culture, the Luo are one of the ethnic groups with the most preserved culture on the African continent. Looking at their traditional wedding ceremonies, a man is expected to pay dowry to the parents of the girl as a token of appreciation to them. This is usually 10 cows or more depending on what exactly the two parties have agreed on. For our Swahili lesson, it is a polite response, usijali, which basically translates as never mind. So if we are to use this in a sentence, we would say usijali ndugu, which basically means or translates as never mind brother. And of course, if you want to learn the Swahili language, one of the most spoken languages on the African continent with over 200 million speakers, we created an easy to learn speak Swahili for beginners course that basically takes you from A to Z for you to be able to speak and understand Swahili like a native speaker. So for you to enroll for the course, check out the link in the description. Well, that's the Luo Nilotic ethnic group of East Africa. Have you met or interacted with any one of them? Let us know down in the comments. And of course, do not forget to like, subscribe and also share this video with someone that would love to learn about the African continent. We recommend you to watch more here to even learn more about the continent.